how are you? My name's Peter. Today I'm going to be showing you how to model a 757 in a blender from blueprints. Today we'll be just making the base model. Let's get started. First you need to go to this website here to grab your blueprints what we'll be um, using you need to make an account that's pretty straightforward so you go here with a, um, modern airlines for aircraft go over to Boeing and then we'll be modeling where is it page two it's on a, it's a seven five seven two hundred this one here right we'll be modeling this one so yeah right click save as desktop save I'll quit out with you, minimize you, minimize you. Is this it? I've already done this, edit, edit, edited it already. You need to edit it into like a JPEG image. So Blender will take a um, GIF image. So once you've done that, open Blender up. Now I don't want to work from this view me, I work from the quad view at modeling the our aircraft. So control all Q will open that are you going to view toggle quad view that one delete the um like the base cube I will be modeling it from a cylinder. So you delete that, press N or where is it? Properties to load um, a background image in. You can load it in on a like, um, a plane, but I don't do that one. I do it the old fashioned way. So you need to load three of these in. Well, select up top, front and right, open the select the um, plane, uh, it's a PNG but you just need to get it out and it did not like um, GIF, I think you pronounce that as image, see the open the opacity put that right up as top to top right close you why is it doing that and you just go here opacity there and opacity up and now you can close this by pressing N right See when it says front here, I don't model it this way. See, it's meant to be front there, but I have my front on this side. It'll be better understood in a minute when I start. I usually start from this side and then the top and then the front. So first you select the the cursor and pull it there. Shift A, add mesh cylinder. Right. Depending how fast your computer is and how powerful it is, you can have 32, but when we start getting into you know, to like the detail stuff, you can probably slow your computer down a bit. So I only use twenties, keep it in the twenties, but you can use thirty-two or even more if you wanted to. See this 
middle vertices here has an edge see this blue one here and this it, they have to line up with each other see my it's not lining up now now it is I use 26 vertices so you scale it down rotate it 90 degrees scale it right down push to the front I've seen people this is the other thing I've seen people model but it's not the right way they start from out here and then when they get to about sorry when they get to out here it starts fucking up in other words do you know the um the vertices start meeting each other because it basically all triangles do you know right at the front and triangles are bad so basically you're trying to make it as small as possible right at the front so you're scaling it in yeah scale it in and put it right to the front so you're scaling it bring it out, scale it in push it down that's looking really like bollocks that isn't it right, that looks good right you want this one here limit selection to visible click that so it's white and click um, the face selection if you want but you can model it from any of these really it doesn't really matter now right so we start from the bottom I'm not going to be showing you um, I'm going to be stopping it um, shortly and I'm doing a restarting it because this can take uh, a long time this so I'd advise you you know to I'm going to show you how to do it. set you off and then um, you replay it when you have done you know, this full side of the play modelled. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. I'll, show, I'll start you off. So you're pressing A to deselect, B for box select, and then you're grabbing it on just one side. Yep. You're pulling it on the X um, axis, right? To help out there, you grab an order the Z axis and press the scale, and then you basically pulling it, right? So you, all you basically doing is tracing right round the plane, and then you press it um, E extrude bring it out holding the z-axis and scale and push it out and you're basically scaling it right round the model like that This is all. The, this is basically what you're doing. And then, if it's like it in there, so you can't see angle, you press uh, Z, you know, to toggle into um, wireframe mode. You go here and select that or Z. Right. Um, so I'll restart it when um, I bottled this side of the plane just this side not this side or this side we're just doing like the base model because it takes um, quite a bit of time really right so let's sleep shortly right hello uh, I'm back now right why not right 
and you followed my instructions you should have something what looks like this now it's just the basic amp shape of the um, aircraft itself so it should look something like this right and now oh we run out of loot here aren't we I think we'll find out later on right now we do the top end so you're scaling it in you're just scaling that one in though and you're leaving that one a minute you're moving on to the third one you don't really need to see uh, this end here because we'll be chopping it in half and using the mirror modifier so you're basically doing this so you're basically box on it grab, grabbing a bunch of verses grabbing the green one an S and pulling up towards the black line and then A to deselect and you're basically doing that ok doing that right now you should have it like um, this if you follow the instructions sorry um, I have to keep stopping it and starting it all the time because uh, if we didn't do this it would be like uh, like an hour you know video and it will take uh, ages you know like to process and render the actual video as I tried to do it earlier on today and it just takes far too long you know like to render and process so this is the way I have to do it really right um, right so you followed everything all the instructions up to it you should have this so you basically all you basically done is box select grab all the the lines first and press S and drag it that's how you basically done up to it um, yeah right next if you want to see the actual plane you'll be able to see what it looks like now if you want it to you know, just to have a look at it you'll be able to see the basic out shape of I think it's a fuselage I forgot what you call it you press move and then let's add that there's the nose of the plane we need to add the um, undercarriage I think you call it um, of the plane now so let's delete you but first we need to add uh, the mirror modifier so here's the middle of the other one these windows are so we need to add um, give me one minute where is that the loop cut Z to tangle through it into that one and then um, control R um, apply that one and then apply it underneath the plane again and then we want to delete half of half of it now right it depends which one you you can probably delete the left side 
on the right side I will delete this side there the fat one has it got a ball in there? looks like it and uh, yeah we'll find out when we delete it in this make sure do you like to check it no these here delete them ones it better wear this now look at the back of the plane where the tail is that's got it had on the y axis clipping enable that and just take a render shot of it Oh, there's lots of ass in this one. One minute. Control Alt Zero. Scale Rotate. Scale. Ambient Occlusion. Yeah, that looks good. Now let's hide the camera and now let's let's just disable that a minute. Then let's hide the um one minute what the fuck's happening there. Uh, I've added too many though, haven't I? Yeah. Make sure you check for stuff like that. That won't meant to happen. I pressed it when I was extruding, I pressed it twice by accident. So I would look out for stuff like that. Right, so you basically hide it. Um, that's hard this bit here. Right. I'm going to have to stop it again in a minute but I'm going to show you how to do it first. You basically add your cursor there, add a box, scale it right down. It's not very professional this is it, keep stopping it. We'll try not to, we'll just try to Let's try to brush it a bit. So we're basically extruded. It's this bit in it, so it's still not big enough. We'll get there in the end. Pardon. Yeah, so you basically, um, it's hard to see in it really, but you're basically trying to trace this bit here, so if it's not on the plane, you can notice it. You can do it, you can like do a bit of a trick, what I used to do. I didn't know I didn't used to do this till about I would say about two weeks ago when I started putting this bet under the plane. It makes a massive um, difference. And remember add all your little details onto the um, side of the plane like do you know where the wing goes in to tie your uh, uh, airspeed I think it's around about here but look at reference images they're the best ones to look at I don't think I can show you references images can I so I might be see if it's someone's I ain't got like the um, ownership of a forum but I 
up as Jared. Um, uh, an advanced one would have trying to throw like a base model on to the plane. We'll be modeling all these doors and windows and the baggage um, doors. But I'm gonna show you a special way how to do all of that with the uh, boolean, I think you call it modifier. Yeah. Right. So you select that. And see this one you know you drag it. So it's like that. Z push it round about there. Right, let's start lining this one up now. With a picture. Where is it? Where are you? Oh, right, we're hiding it, so it's hide is H, and to unhide everything, it's all H. And then hide the camera, H. Right, you don't move the model, you, you never move that, you move the blueprint. So you press N. We want the right side move, so you click that one. And then the X and Y, right? So you just basically playing around with these numbers and zoom in. Let's hide that one. So we moved it then. Hide. Let's let's hide that one. Let's put the um, full mirror modifiers to it. Z. You're basically dragging it down, dragging it. You want these little numbers moving. Come on, you bastard. That lots. Now push it down a bit. Now Z to look at it. Now it needs to go down more, like that doesn't it? That looks, that looks good, that one done it. Yeah. Right, as you notice, this is actual backwards. Um, uh, yeah, that's uh, backwards. Uh, so it, it doesn't actually matter anyway. It's just getting this basic, you know, the basic shape of um, the uh, underneath. I think that's. That's where the landing gear goes, and a bit of fuel, I think, I think it does. Let's unhide the uh, bottom bit. Yep, let's hide the camera again. Right, right now we're going to get the basic shape now, yeah. So we need to add, uh, Subdivision service. I can't. Let's see what that does. But why? Let's see what that is. No. Let's just add uh, one of these. Right. Control. Add two loop cuts. Right. We're going to do the same actually with this. Split it in half. And the loop cut right down the middle, right? Select face, and then B, delete that side. One minute. Yeah, make sure they're both identical. Add a mirror on the Y axis. Clip it. Make sure this is always done because it makes the two sides glued together basically. So let's do that a minute. Grab this side, 
where we can delete all these you know inside we don't actually need it, you don't want to see them here. So if you don't see them, get rid of them. Makes it easier for the computer to calculate on the you know, the render. Yeah. Right, and then you grab this one, select, and we're basically this is quite complicated this bit. You have to pull up Still not 100% with select on it, and then once we don't want them ones to do really. Uh, all them ones basically pull up a bit select. Let's see what that looks like. Add a loop up right. Do that down this end. Grab that one, pull down, but pull it. Z, pull it. Let's move it. You just have to play around. So I'm going to stop here and play um, around with it to get it perfect. Right, I'm back. Um, I don't know if I would. Um, that's hard to count. I don't know if I would have advised putting this bit on yet because this is uh, pretty. I won't. So this is nice, like a base, basic model, is it really? Uh, you can try it. It's just you want it. See it underneath here, perfect. And here, doing around here, it's just basically pulling and pushing the vertices. So you can't actually notice it angle it really. Um, but when all the uh, model is put together, I want. I don't know if you can do. You can notice if it isn't. If it isn't there, I would probably advise. Advise it. Yeah, it's a pull, pulling it and pushing it basically. That's how you basically do it. So you grab the. Um, Let's um, subdivision of two. Just had a subdivision of two. Two will do. But a viewer of one and a render of two. You can even press that to optimize. Right, so you apply that one, and then you click. You go basically. Uh, I like to call it pairing it but the real name is join it so you basically grab in the uh, underneath the plane and you grab in the uh, body control J so it becomes one like that then you could even go in and delete more of these just the computer doesn't need it, does it? It doesn't need to render this lot. But watch out. So you can see the faces. I get rid of them. I'll just keep up because it's starting to mess up in it, really. Just keep. We don't actually need them. You're going to spend a lot more time, but all this in here, I would advise you, you know, to delete. But make sure you look on the outside. Right, we're going to be putting the uh, basic wings, uh, wings on now. Yeah. So this is when we need the um, 
the front view this one, not this one, this one and this one so you pressed that one your cursor to the thing. let's hide let's hide uh, we don't need that one on at the moment do we let's hide that shift a cube scale it right down right. scaling it right down this might's a bit dodgy I have to have it on that full um, I think it's boom because it's not picking up my uh, voice so my voice sounds very weird it's from the mic I don't know why my voice sounds really different on <coughs> on the microphone. It doesn't sound like this. If we're speaking, do not um, in face to face basically. I don't speak much when I'm modelling anywhere. So this is like the first for me. I'm going to stop it here and basically extrude right to the end. Right, I've done that. That side um, of the wing. Right, now we do this side. Right. So, here's a little tip. Instead of doing like box select uh, to all these like that and then finding it, scaling it in. Just grab this one like that. See? Uh, I ain't got a clue what this is, but I use it a lot. The See, so grabbing them ones and pulling it. So you're basically tracing the outside of it, pulling it, and then you're grabbing this side here and pulling it. So you get the uh, full out, the uh, full trace of the plane. And we'll put this on that. Uh, I don't know what that website's called. What is it called? Vevu? Uh, I don't know what that is. But it has comments. Uh, if you need like, any more help, or if you want me to, you know, in sending me the like skipping it, if you want me to make like the full 40 minute me, you know, like. Um, it's extruding right down the side of the plane, the full length video. If people want it, I will make it. I'll make it for you. I'm not bothered. I want the tough basically learn yes how to make the yeah, plane. We are going to control R, loop cut right round the outside there, see it, right, and then this side here, one minute, something gone wrong, it? yep, it has, uh, how can I put this one, with detail it has to be perfect see this here he's not lined up because uh, when it starts bending not here it's just a couple of like millimeters but it has to be perfect with me so you put it there scale it a bit oh that's nice what here you would spend a lot more time than me on here 
I'm rushing this for the sake of time, really. Yeah. Just the base of what I like. Perfect. Nothing else. Your base model is good. Everything else is going to be good. So you're selecting all these ones. And you're going to delete them. But you're not going to delete the vertices, edges, or faces. You're going to go right here. The, um, this one here, the bottom one. So you delete them, yeah. Alright. And then you're going to add a loop cut right down the centre. Yep. And then you're going to select all these. Alright, this is a bit. You're grabbing hold of the blue line and scaling it and pushing down. And you keep doing that. So you're grabbing the blue line and scale it and pushing down. And then you're going to rotate it. The shift key is brilliant in Blender. It stands, you want doing the like the little movements. I always hold this. And you want it centre again. Or looking centre. It doesn't have to be perfect. Rotate. I would say that centre. Yeah. It'll do. And then you grab in this one here now and soon we're going to add um, that subsurf modifier because you have to add that or you will start fucking up when you start adding your flaps like I've already found out when I did an earlier video you start messing up and I can't quite work out why because I didn't, I didn't add one of these to create more faces to go for the plane. So you basically go in here, here, and neatening it up. Do you know, like the creases? But don't add it too close to this middle one here. So control that, right on that one. And don't add it too close or you'll notice it. And then the controller push it forward. Yeah. Smooth. Don't forget when we actually render it, it's going to be a level 2. Right. Shit. Uh, right, we're going to have to pull these down a bit, aren't we? So you grab box, limit selection, grab them, pull, push down, grab, pull. Tell me you think this is. And you can put in the comments if you think this is. Um, if it did um, a good job of like, explaining. Um, what? to do and basically uh, did you see it before it was like away <laughs> that from when we were when we added the uh, subsurf I presume yeah right that's not you back down to one. let's see what it looks like at level three not quite good then, it? but we don't want a level three you only want a level one for that at the moment that's all uh, H and there's your wing but when we go here and we select that and add the um, oh no, the uh, mirror modifier we can't do it yet because we have to add all the detail to, you know, to the wing and then you start applying it all to the uh, fuselage of the plane yeah now we'll add these what give um, the plane left. So you basically I'm not going to be doing this, we'll be stopping this shortly. You're basically doing the same what you did to the wing but 
pretend this is a little wink. That'll be something now. Five. Right, I'm back. Right, basically, you should have something like that. Uh, so it's like basically a small wing at the back. You're basically using all these. Like, if we call it skills, what we used are modelling the um, wing to do the back. If you want me to do um, like the full length video, which would be probably about an hour and a half, modelling it without doing a stopping, just the base model, don't be uh, afraid to ask because. Uh, I will do like do it because there's no tutorial um, of modeling and aircrafting are like this where it's free because they're, they're all uh, the ones you know where you have to pay so uh, don't be like afraid to ask because um, I will do it. We're going to model the rudder now. So this is basically like a wing and it rotates it 90 degrees so it's pointing up in the air in it really. So you're doing that. So we'll be stopping it now. Right, I'm back. I've just muddled the um, rudder. Right, I'm going to don't do this. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to show you what the. Um, one minute, let me delete. Let me just delete these faces. Right, what I'm going to do now, don't you do yet. I'm going to show you what this face model looks like when it's um, all put together. Control, remember to save Control S and the one type B L E I U N G seven fifty seven two three two hundred save and every time you want to save then you don't go here and save your different old Control S I go over the top and keep going like that constantly right. Uh, yeah, old, old. Let us apply. Let me show you what it's going to look like. Let me apply. Everything's got like a modifier on it, basically. To look, so you're selecting any of them. That one, that one, and then the last one. You want to select the fuse larger to play. In. Control J. Enable the mirror modifier. This is a pretty good. Here you get this fire, you do pretty. You should be pretty proud of yourself, really. Whoa, what did we just see then? No. Let's see. It's just finding the right angle. Well, I find the idea bet. You could like texture it now if you wanted to, and that's it. But we're not going to do that. We're going to take it to the next level. So in part two, we'll start the um, advanced modeling. This is like our base model of the 757. Right. And remember, if you want me to make the full length video. Just put a comment and uh, I'll be pleased uh, to do it. Right. The, the next video should be up uh, this week or next week. Right. Thank you.